Well, we reached the uh, top of the countdown, the top weather events across western and central Wyoming for 2025, and this one also occurred in December. It actually occurred all month for the most part. That was a really warm one we had, our record breaking across just about the entire area as far as how warm it was. And I'll show you why. The map of the U.S. here, you're thinking why this doesn't show me anything. I'll draw a couple things in here for you. A couple reasons why it was so warm. Number one, we had an average area of upper level high pressure that's right here. I'll draw it in for you over the desert southwest for the most part. Now this did two things. Number one, our flow is clockwise around that. It tends to keep our flow basically either from the southwest bringing warmer air in from the Great Basin area, California, even from the west off the Pacific. That tends to keep things a little bit warmer here as opposed to our normal flow which is more northwesterly or northerly bringing cooler air out of Canada. And the other thing it did is it actually moved the mean position of the jet stream which is usually down here. I'll draw the average position of the jet in right now across our area. See just about right over the top of Wyoming. It obviously fluctuated a little bit each day. But this did two things. Number one, as you probably noticed, it was very, very windy this month, even by Wyoming standards, especially in the middle of the month when you had that big windstorm. It, it mixes the atmosphere, keeps things a little bit warmer. The other thing is, usually cold air doesn't really get much far past that jet stream. So it didn't make it into Montana, those Arctic outbreaks. But for the most part, the coldest air was deflected into the northern plain states, the Great Lakes, even into the northeastern part of the country, keeping us relatively mild. And how mild? Look at the departure from normal. This is basically how far above normal we were. Buffalo, a couple of those cold air intrusions got in there for a couple of days. I kept them a little bit cooler, but still 8.3 degrees above normal. Everywhere else, at least 12 degrees above normal. And the most impressive spot here in Riverton, records go back a long way here, 118 years, 17 degrees above normal. Lander also impressive, 15 degrees above normal. They go back to uh, 1892 here. So really impressive there, warm everywhere. A couple other stats to look at here. This is the number of days above normal. The average temperature, take the high, take the low, add it together, divide it by two. Lowest amount was Buffalo, but still, that's about three out of four days that are above normal. Highest, Big Piney, just one day was below normal there. Everywhere else between 27 to 29, and on average, 90% of our days averaged above normal as far as temperatures are concerned. This number of record highs across the area, we had 73 total. Most of those occurring in a two week stretch between about the 13th and the 27th of, uh, of December with the peak right around Christmas Eve and Christmas Day when we had some all time records set. So I'll get to that in just a minute as well. Riverton Airport, we had the most at 14. Records only go back here about 30 years, so a little deceptive there, but at 10 at Rock Springs, they go back to 1960, they, uh, 1948 I should say. Worland had eight, they go back to 1960. Casper, 10. They go all the way back to 1939, so a good period of record there. Lander, they had five, longest uh, stretch there, back to 1892. And this is the rank of uh, all-time warm temperature, just basically the warmest temperature that occurred during the month and where it ranks all time. Everybody was in the top six, but they just picked the ones that were third or higher. Grable had their warmest ever at 65. Lander tied theirs at 65. Again, records go back there a long way. Riverdale and Rock Springs also had first. And they actually broke the records twice in each location. 59, just missing the first 60 degree high ever in December in Rock Springs. In Riverton, we got to 62 as well as 64. That occurring on, on Christmas Eve, highest temperature ever. And one more thing to look at. This is the number of degrees it was above the second warmest December on record. Now, a little bit of colder air gets into Buffalo. They're still warmer just by a couple of degrees. Everyone now is probably at least two degrees above normal. Most impressive there, Big Piney, five and a half degrees above normal, as well as Riverton Airport. Well, thank you for joining us on the uh, top five uh, countdown of the top weather events across the area. Hope you have a good 2026.